Hi everyone, my name is Yukari and I will be making daily process videos um, for the, the month of July as I sketch in my Hobonichi Techo for World Watercolor Month. So let's get started. Today is day 10 and uh, the prompt is hushed. And rather than looking for an image, um, I actually went with a color. I found a color called Hushed Violet or Hushed Purple, and it's kind of a dusty rose color. And so um, I'm going to be painting a rose today. So let's get started. So here are my supplies. I am going to be um, using my number 10 silver brush and a number two Princeton. And um, I am mixing all the colors starting with ultramarine blue today. And so here is the, the hushed violet color um, made from ultramarine blue and um, pyro scar uh, scarlet. And both are warm, um, hues and so it creates this muddy um, color which is what I was going for today. The green is made with ultramarine blue and uh, quin gold and this um, berry color is also made with ultramarine blue and pyro scarlet but just with a, um, a little more red and this is my sort of a, a a navy look color and that's ultra tint and ultramarine blue so here is ultramarine blue um daniel smith makes a really lovely granu granulating um, pigment it's just beautiful and um underneath the the colors that i use um i just put down the colors that i mixed um, with ultramarine blue to get the color that I'm using. And so uh, the orangey red is the pyrrol scarlet. And of course that gold color is uh, quin gold and neutral tint. All right, so you can, you can probably make these colors just by war uh, mixing your whatever warm blue you have and a warm red. I am going to be painting um, three roses, one um, fairly large and two smaller ones. And you start out loading your paint and then creating these small sort of C shapes. And all you're going to do is to just go around um, those centers with ever increasing C curves. And, um, I, you know, I didn't load any more paint. And as you go around, it gets kind of lighter and lighter, and which is kind of what, um, what you want. And I'm trying not to overwork as I go through, um, but there are places where I think I just um, went around it one more time, which um, I think muddied the rose a bit but you're trying to start and stop in different places. And um, uh, so I'm trying to create two or three of these large C curves as I go around and um, trying to maintain my circular shape and um, just adding a little bit of that, that color and um, just dotting it a little bit so that it, it fades into um, my wet paint. And um, yeah, that's really it. I'm going to be um, placing my second rose. It's always, you know, I just never know exactly where to place things sometimes. So I had to think about this one, but, and this is going to be a smaller version of the rose. And just making the, the C curves. Push into the brush and lift. It's 
kind of like doing calligraphy. All right, I think that's probably big enough. And I'm going to place um, even a smaller one um, on the right side of that uh, large rose. It's really hard for me not to overwork it, just leave it be. And I think I left a little too much gap. Uh, but that's all right. Okay, so my roses are done. And I am mixing Quin Gold with the Ultramarine Blue to, to get my my green for the leaves. And the, the leaf shape, once again, it, you know, this, my brush was too wet, really, but all you want to do is to make kind of that same C curve, maybe not so curved, um, and make two of those for the leaves. And I'm trying to decide where to put all of my leaves. Yeah, my paintbrush is a little too wet. And I apologize for the camera angle. You're not seeing um, what I'm painting on the bottom. I did put another leaf on the bottom and I'm putting uh, just berries to uh, fill the space a little bit more. And this is the same Pyrrole Scarlet with Ultramarine Blue. It's got a little more red to it. And the colors obviously are more saturated. And um, I'm going to be creating um, the stems for, for those and I am using neutral tint, um, which is kind of a, a charcoal black color with ultramarine blue to create sort of that navy um, blue for the stems for these berries. And I'm also going to be using that same color um, to add more leaf accents because I just felt like this needed more. So these are just random leaf shapes that I am painting. And I learned this technique of filling in space with these random leaf shapes um, by Shada Campbell. She's, um, she has a great YouTube channel um, and she does a lot of, of floral, um, both watercolor and um, line drawing. So check out her uh, YouTube channel as well. And uh, I just added another leaf. And um, I thought my leaf wasn't um, uh, dark enough. And so I'm just going over it again. And adding a little more blue to my green mix. And ultramarine, especially the Daniel Smith one, um, is, is granulating. And I, I actually love that um, about this paint. Uh, some people, I suppose, don't like granulation, but I, I really enjoy it. And um, you'll be able to see in the completed work on my leaves, you're going to see the gold seeping out of the mixture. And um, yeah, I, I really like um, that look. Uh, and uh, because Pyrrole Scarlet isn't so, uh, well, it, it's, it's not as transparent, so you're not gonna see a whole lot of granulation there. Yeah, I love these little uh, leaf fillers. 
they're just very cute and um, they do a, a really nice job of filling in space that you absolutely have no idea what to do with. And so I am going to call this painting done and um, I'm going to show you my completed page. All right, so here is my completed page with um, a quote and um, some journaling. And um, I discuss in my journal today that, you know, this is how I started journaling. Um, I love the combination of words and images together. And um, when I got started, I used to find quotes that I wanted to illustrate and then find um, an image that I could uh, put with the quote. Um, and today or this this month, with the prompts given, I usually choose an image that I want to illustrate. And then today I felt like I needed a quote in that space. So so that's what I did. It's kind of kind of felt like going back to my my roots, which is which was really nice. And if you notice, uh, here's the granulation the green gold and the blue i i really love how that leaf turned out and you can even see a little bit here i suppose um there's a little pool of ultramarine blue sort of um, bleeding out but i do love the granulation um, of of the paint and um, i hope you'll try um, Daniel Smith's Ultramarine Blue. I think it is just a great blue. All right. Thank you for watching and um, we'll see you tomorrow.